Illustrator just got a brand new update. I'm gonna show you what you can do now. So first up, we got text vector graphic. Now we can literally type anything we want. Just make a box just like this. And I'm gonna type dog flying a UFO. I'm gonna click generate and there we have it. It's a vector graphic as you can see, fully outlined so we can scale it up as big as we want, which is super dope. And it also gives you some options. So just like in Photoshop, you can see the style there. You can also change the type. You can do scene. You can also do icon as well. And you can see some of the other little variations. If you click on the sample, it will load that in. Now, the cool thing is if you do want a certain style, you can copy it from another image. Just select, click on this little eyedropper here. And then I'm going to click this image that I just copied off Dribble. And then now if I, you can see the little tick on the icon. Now, if I click generate, it should try and make the dog UFO in that color scheme and style. So you can see it made a plan, the planets. With that same color and style you can see that pretty cool not 100 accurate but it's decent next we have the retype beta so you can select any image that you drop in illustrator click enter in the retype section and it will scan all the fonts on that image and it'll tell you what font it is or the, it will give you the closest font to that font so right now you can see it's scanning this main um, font here on the landing page and now you can see it's giving me a whole bunch of different fonts that look basically very similar so for example normally wide black which is really cool and i can click apply so you can see i can click on any of the sections and it's going to read the text as you can see there and give me variations and then i can actually apply that and it's going to add into my adobe so let's get out of this now if i press t for the type tool now you can see if i search for the font it should be downloaded there you go normal line wide black and then i'll just change to all caps and literally, I have basically the same font almost as you can see there. And you can see that this font is actually editable as well when you click apply. Next, we've got the mock-up tool. All you got to do is select an image. I got this off Unsplash. It could be any image. And you need to have a vector object, most likely a logo that you've designed, right? So what I want to do, I'm going to scale this down to roughly like so I can fit it on the shirt there. What you want to do is get the style, select the image, select the scale and click mock-up. And then it'll combine the two images. And what it will do is it will move the vector shape to the subject you can do this for packaging you can do this for anything really and then what you can actually do is if i go to my transparency panel make it blend a little more i can like maybe change it to overlay or multiply or um sometimes soft light works and obviously because it's a dark shirt you can't really tell but um i can just go normal and maybe drop the opacity a bit and there you have it we just created a cool mock-up right within illustrator you don't have to even have to go into photoshop now the cool thing about the mock-up tool it will actually use your logo and throw it on some other mock-ups that adobe has set click the edit you can also click the little cart button to license them but you'd have to buy them but if i click the little edit it's going to load that up into illustrator and you can i can see my logo on a potential mock-up from adobe stock as you can see there and i can just go ahead and next we actually have a smooth tool so i've got a wonky path i just made with the pen tool i'm going to go here click on object then we want to go down to path and click on smooth and now all you got to do is literally just drag the bar to the right to get a smoother angle or we can pull it back so if you want to zigzag sort of rough um, so you can see that it smooths out the anchor points which i really like and you can see that super duper smooth really cool for working with paths you can also create shareable links to a pdf so i can click share i can create a link like this and i can save this and i can save it as a pdf now not just an illustrator file which is super cool and you know if you like doing that with your clients or whatever then that's another good way to share your files if you want to see some more illustrator hacks check this video right here